you're doing um in a recent haul video now i think it was something to do with ulta but i just don't remember um now one of the, the products that i actually did by was like came in together was the moroccan oil um shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner and then they also had this um I don't know what this is. Um, treat, it's some kind of a treatment, honestly speaking. But it's also kind of like a a leave-in oil. Um, you know, they have leave-in conditioners. Um, some people prefer to use the oils. So Moroccan oil normally has that. Um, however, I hadn't used this yet because I was using the leave-in conditioner. Um, this is particularly more of a hydrating purposes. Um, the shampoo conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. Now... There is still some, like, a lot of it left in the leave-in conditioner. Um, I only have used the oil before as a leave-in. And this was, like, a while ago. I think the last time I used it was, like, beginning of the pandemic last year. And we already, um, towards the end of 2021 now. So, it's almost two years, I would say, I've used it. It's been two years that I've used it. But, um... This time around, my hair didn't really like it or probably just how I was using it. I don't mind using it again. Um, even though, even though prior when I used it before, it was pretty good. My hair was doing fine with it. Um, it is what it is though. Um, but however, let's just stick with the shampoo conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. Now, the shampoo specifically has this really strong fragrance in it. Like, you can tell that they added, like, fragrance is part of the ingredient. And normally, from what I am aware, fragrance is not good for the hair to begin with. If it's a little bit, maybe you can get away with it to a certain extent. But this tiny bottle has so much in it, I think it would be enough for the big bottles um but honestly speaking i feel like i was not comfortable using it because of the amount of fragrance that was involved in the shampoo in itself um the conditioner i feel like the conditioner didn't do much um it is a travel size before i move forward like as you can tell um the conditioner i feel like wasn't helping much um even though um these parts are for hydration purposes and i feel like my hair one of the things that my hair does need is hydration and i feel like you know um like i mentioned before the she moisture shampoo conditioner well not the shampoo i haven't used the shampoo yet of that um and the ava nyc um conditioner the deep conditioner and i also have used i'm also using i shouldn't say used i'm using their um leave-in conditioner the leave-in cream um for both of them and it is working wonders um, right now, I am still continuing to use the shampoos that the dermatologist gave me for dandruff um, because I still have like a bunch of them. It's just I don't really want to throw them away. So those are what I'm using at this time. But I feel like the leaving the conditioner, deep conditioner, and the leaving conditioner for she moisture. And if I invest, they're pretty good in terms of um, dehydration, the smart, the smoothness, the silkiness and everything. However, in terms of hydration with this, I didn't really see hydration, especially from the conditioner. Um, however, the conditioner didn't really have that high scent of fragrance. So the conditioner didn't really have like the high, um, fragrance scent to it, which was okay. So initially when I, okay. So when I used it, I feel like for the people who have like really thick hair, or just really long hair or both like thick and long hair i feel like this will be a done shot in like a one deal shot really so i feel like if you guys want to try it out it will be worth it or if you're traveling and you know that one of the days would be like a wash day and you want to you know not carry like big bottles and this would be it however um the conditioner uh ran out like the first hair wash itself i felt like it was like a one shot deal um it just finished my first hair wash the shampoo i still have in i had enough left for the second wash and i do have enough left for the third wash hair wash as well so i feel like the no, normally it's a general thing where you're going to use more condition than the shampoo anyway so you're going to run out of uh, conditioner 
a lot quicker than the shampoo anyway so it was it, it was expected honestly speaking now however i feel like i do not want to move forward with the um shampoo regardless or the leave-in conditioner um now when i was in the shower when i used both the shampoo and the conditioner especially the first time around um in the shower it did feel like you know especially when the water was burnt running down it did feel like my hair was doing pretty good it felt good it you know with the exception of the smell i wasn't really big fan of like i mentioned i wasn't really big fan of the fragrance fragrance scent that the shampoo was giving so there wasn't really much of a scent after the conditioner um once i came out of the shower it did kind of feel like that how my how my hair feeling like the softness silky smooth whatever was kind of dying down which is kind of something normal because normal because you know the water is going down your hair may feel like a certain way um um when it actually is you know it mixed with the shampoo and conditioner at the time i got out by uh, like a few minutes later i applied the leave-in conditioner to my hair now the first day it wasn't like oh my god this is amazing um to the point where i felt like you know like my hair is like super soft silky shiny whatever like you know all the things that i was expecting especially the hydration aspect of it um it wasn't really like a major big deal it was okay second day comes around like the next day i shouldn't say the second day like this how my hair felt i'm mentioning is the day of my hair wash the following day my hair did start to kind of feel a little bit dry um yesterday which would be the th uh, yesterday the two days after my hair wash my hair felt like a lot more dry but somewhat bearable but it was still extremely extremely dry even with the leave-in conditioner it felt dry i tried using the same one just in case to see you know the reaction because i'm using the same company products this morning before i washed my hair my hair felt like straw i felt I, my hair just felt really disgusted i put in some oil um to help manage the the dryness like the extreme straw feeling like dryness and the oil, my hair pretty much soaked up a lot of the oil for hydration reason i went into the shower and i've started to notice that besides the you know the reaction that my hair got from covid like a couple months down the line um other thing i really noticed that my hair fall will either be because of dandruff or my hair is like extremely extremely dry like mainly in the shower i'm talking about so um not so much with the dryness but i feel like when it's extremely dry how it was this morning then yes there will be some kind of hair fall so i do not like this product at all because how my hair ended up feeling normally my hair never felt like straw dry the day i was supposed to wash my hair like never i normally oil my hair regardless of how my hair feels anyways but this was not what i was expecting from this brand um especially since moroccan oil has a huge fan following um everybody knows about it i just wasn't really expecting it the shampoo i would definitely say is a major no-go um, because of the fragrance and i feel like a partial reason of how my hair got extremely dry must have been because of the fragrance because the fragrance itself does dry out the hair um and since there was like a lot of it for this tiny bottle i feel like that was a major reason i would maybe try the conditioner without the shampoo but the leave-in conditioner i'm a bit iffy about so i'm not really going to use it again but honestly speaking i just want to stay away from it in general now because i'm just like i do not want to buy the big bottle so um if i do want to try the conditioner again if i want to i will use the same travel size one just to see how it would have how would it react with another shampoo which doesn't have a fragrance in to it um but i'm kind of iffy if i really want to try it now um my hair if this shampoo is working for you it's fine continue using it it's just that everybody's hair is different 
everybody's hair and scalp will react differently to others. Mine just did not. Mine was just not a positive experience. Um, I only had somewhat of a positive experience with the oil, and I feel like I'm only gonna use it when my hair I feel like it's it's really dry, and I'm gonna use it only then. Otherwise, I'm just I feel like I'm just gonna stick with the leave-in conditioner. Um, my hair is. It's color treated. It's no bleach in there. It is fine. Um, curl pattern type. It has a mind of its own. Some days it will be straight. Some days it will be wavy. But it's mainly more of straight and wavy. Like part of my hair is like straight. And there's like some in between that would be long wavy. So it has a mind of its own honestly speaking. But um, it's just not something that my hair had a positive reaction to. So it's a no-go for me. So other than that, um, if you guys want me to try other products, I will look into it first. Um, obviously, as usual, my hair may or may not react the same way as you guys, your hair would. So just take this as a grain of salt. Other than that, I will be linking both my Instagram pages down below. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.